So the other day I was reading in Exodus and I felt like God, God spoke to me about, you know, key things, essential things. So I'm just going to read in Exodus 4, 24 to 26. And it says, at a lodging place on the way, the Lord met Moses and was about to kill him. That's interesting. Uh, but Zipporah took a flint knife, cut off her son's foreskin and touched Moses' feet with it. Surely you're a bridegroom of blood to me, she said. So the Lord let him alone. At that time, she said, bridegroom of blood, referring to circumcision. And so that's, you know, a really interesting scripture. And there's lots uh, about, you know, different talk about what it actually means. But what I felt like God highlighted to me was, you know, circumcision was something that set the Israelites apart. Uh, they were his people. And this is a, a sign that set them apart. Uh, from other people that weren't his people and yet Moses had failed to circumcise his son up until that point and why why was that was it because of difficulty or you know Moses was a bit distant uh, from the rest of the Israelites or the Hebrew people uh, during his lifetime um, and I think in difficult situations or situations where we're distant from the people of God it's easier to let things slip. But this was, the circumcision was something that was important to God, was an essential uh, for the Hebrew people. And what are the things that are essential for us today as the people of God? What are the things that are really important to Him? And how can we look at those things and not let them slip in difficult times or you know, something we're going through now is there's a lot of distance, social distancing is what we're being asked to do, uh, what we need to do uh, at the moment. But how can we keep the essentials, keep being the people of God and keep growing in the essential things in this time? I was thinking about, you know, what are, um, what are some of the things that are essential? Things like Bible reading. Are we reading the word and hearing, you know, thinking, what is God going to say today? Hearing from God. Uh, sharing about Jesus is an essential. How can we do that in these times? Fellowship. How can we continue to fellowship with one another? Being pure, holiness, accountable, living a different life. We're people of God. We're called to live a different life from society, to walk in purity and holiness. And the last essential I uh, got was prayer. These things are important to God. And I think we need to guard them, guard them jealously in our lives and think, how can we do that in this season as well, where there is a distance between us? And for those of you, there's lots of you uh, in this church who are, who've been Christians for a long time, who love God with your whole heart. And these things are not gonna slip in your life and I, I believe the, you know, the question, the challenge is, how can you provide leadership for these things that are essential for the people of God um, in this season? How can you provide leadership for that? So think about these things. You know, ask yourself today, what is God saying to me today with things that are essential? And how can I provide leadership in this season?